Hello my friends! Welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you're new to my channel, hey welcome! I hope you'll consider subscribing and if you are back, welcome back! Today I'm here to do an unboxing with you all. This is from Jaded Gem Shop and has two kits in it that I am ecstatic to finally have in hand. So let me work on opening this up. I feel like with these packages I usually have the best luck with um, just opening up on the end and then I can just slide everything out. So you guys, Jade Gem Shop is a diamond painting shop that carries a variety of legally licensed artwork. She also offers things like um, a kitting up service in different kinds of storage containers. She also can source your supplies for a cross-stitch conversion project like the diamonds and the canvases and is extremely, extremely helpful and just an absolutely all around wonderful person. So. Um, I am really looking forward to getting to share some gorgeousness with you all today. So if you haven't had the chance to check out Jaded Gem Shop yet, I definitely recommend you do so. I actually just posted a finish, uh, a post review, a reveal and post review of my first project that I have completed from Jaded Gem Shop. And that went up on my channel actually just last week. So I will link to it below in case you're curious. but. You guys, I have two kits to share with you all today. So which one should we start with? Did I get both in squares? I don't remember. I think I did based on the printing I'm seeing in the photo negative. Let's start with the smaller one. Um, so this is the image. I feel terrible I'm blanking on the name of the artwork and the artist's name. So I'm gonna open it up and we'll find out together. So um, Jaded Gem Shop really does cater to, that was really loud, sorry you guys. I feel like more experienced diamond painters. And so she generally doesn't include toolkits with her with her kits, but I believe that there's an option to add one on that maybe you can pay to add one on. Um, that's that's uh, intentional on her part. It's in an effort to reduce plastic waste and waste in general. So first thing I'm gonna do is roll this backwards to help it lay flat. If you're looking at this thing going, wow, that printing, that coloring looks interesting. You guys, this is, <laughs> something I really enjoy actually. Uh, if you get a kit from Jada Gem Shop with square diamonds, uh, which she does offer both for all of her canvases, as you can choose round or square, you can choose from a variety of different sizes, um, you can often choose between the full artwork and a crop of the original artwork. Um, if you choose to get square diamonds with your kit, she prints the background with a photo negative effect and it's actually really really neat to work on the kit that i just completed from her that i put the post review up is called asleep it's by the artist victoria leal and it had square diamonds and had this photo negative effect and not only was it so neat to see that artwork come to life on the colors come to life on top of this photo negative printing, none of these colors showed behind that photo negative printing. So here, let me show you kind of a larger version of the artwork here and I can give you the name and the artist and all of those details as well. But I loved this artwork and fell in love with it as soon as I saw it. So. Here is a nice look at the original artwork. That's what the colors are gonna look like once they're down. The title of this piece is A Fish Out of Water. The artist's name is Erin Dainty. Here, I'll show you here as well, actually. This has all the info. Erin Dainty, I may be mispronouncing that and I do apologize if so. I ordered this in 50 by 50 centimeters and here's all the branding on the canvas as well. So Jaded Gem Shop. Here's all of her socials. She does have a YouTube channel. She goes live often like once or twice a week and sometimes you'll see her packing orders. You can see her really cool shop set up and everything, which it is, it's just Jade. She's really the only one that is operating the shop and it's out of her home. So um, I love supporting a small business. <laughs> uh, the canvas material itself, I really, really like this canvas material. Even though, yes, you probably saw there that uh, there are some what looks like, I mean, there's some folds in the canvas right now. It's really just kind of wrinkles more than anything. Um, I have these same things in my canvas that I completed. And honestly, it lays perfectly flat. There's not a wrinkle in sight on the front or back of the canvas, especially with drills down. So I'm just not that worried about it. You can do what I did, which is to roll it backwards. And you can also do that thing where I peeled back the plastic cover and then laid it back down. That'll help it just aesthetically look a little bit better in the moment. but. Even if, you know, even though, though you can still see some of these kind of like creases here, 
I genuinely, I'm not worried about it, especially now that I've completed a kit from, from Jade to Gem Shop. Uh, this jade green border is on all of her canvases. Uh, the backing is a really nice, like soft lint material and she uses poured glue on her canvases. And there's a look at the symbols. Actually, some of these symbols look extremely familiar to me. I worked with some of these exact symbols on that kit I just completed. And uh, the printing is really clear. Look, you can see her face there. <laughs> I thought that 50 by 50 would be a really nice size for this artwork. On Jade's website, for each of the different listings, the different artwork that she has, uh, she'll, she'll offer a variety of sizes, but she never offers a size that she feels is too small for the artwork. And when you choose a particular size that you want to consider getting the painting in, in the list of images on that listing, it'll pop up at the top with the example rendering of the artwork at that size. Now she goes in and touches those up, uh, but that'll give you a sense for what to expect as far as level of detail and what the finished product might look like. And I did find that to be really helpful and pretty accurate too. Here at the bottom, you've got a legend. It looks like this is gonna have a total of 39 colors. She does use the DMC color code like most diamond painting companies do. There are no ABs charted in her kits, but that certainly does not mean that you can't get some enhancement drills and add them yourself. <laughs> um, I'm one that, it kind of depends on the artwork. Artwork like, like this that I feel like has a little bit more of a, I don't know, maybe a matte effect or something. I don't know that I would necessarily like be running out to grab some specialty drills to add, but that's just me. I'm a little bit lazy about that kind of thing, <laughs> to be honest with you. So 50 centimeters left to right and uh, 50 centimeters. Yeah, 50 centimeters top to bottom, especially when I'm actually having the drill field flat. So it is true to size. That's not shocking. I, I found that to be the case as well with the other kit. It looks like this kit has a bit more in the way of color blocking. Um, a lot of Jade's kits may have extra, well, a lot of Jade's renders may be a bit more on the confetti heavy side. That's a style choice on her part. But at the same time, she doesn't want to totally overwhelm us with confetti. So I appreciate that looking at this artwork, I see a decent amount of, like I said, what we can call color blocking, where we have these big chunks with all the same symbol. We have some of that in our subject's face as well. So some color blocking can be a really, really good thing in her bodice too, lots of that same color. Confetti is when you have a lot of color changes in a small area. So if you look kind of like at the ends of her hair, hair here, there's lots of different symbols. You'll probably be single placing a bit more that's more like what we would call confetti so um jade did include a roll of washi tape i like to use washi tape to cover up sometimes there's there's some glue you can kind of see there where it's it's shining just a little bit past the other edge of the drill field there's some glue i like to cover that up with washi tape just so that no dirt or dust gets stuck in there and there's not going to be any diamonds that go down there so um, I like covering that up with washi tape. <laughs> so thanks for that inclusion, Jade. Here is the inventory list again on paper. You can see all the symbols that'll be in this kit. The quantity is just the number of times that color happens in the kit. So the number of drills that you'll have. I had tons left over in my first project that I completed from her. So not worried about running out whatsoever. So I'm probably gonna cut this up and I have a little sticker maker. They're really inexpensive. You can get them from Amazon. I'll put this through my sticker maker and put that on my storage containers just to make it easy to kit up, I suppose. <laughs> here are the diamonds. They've come in two different bags, packages here. So one out of two, two out of two. Uh, this little like model number, inventory number on here, it matches up with this as well so um it, in storing these separately like if i put the canvas in my big artist portfolio and my drills and my tote since these don't have dedicated boxes which is completely fine um it'll make matching them up a lot easier i could also just grab a sharpie and write on here <laughs> like the title of the piece a fish out of water and that would just make it that much easier uh so these diamonds this is one of the things that jade is really well known for is these high quality resin diamonds and the way that they're packaged is in these heat sealed bags, kind of in these strands, you might have a variety of different sizes of bags that have different quantities in them. These are resin drills, and I really enjoyed working with them. <laughs> with resin drills, you'll get a little bit in the way of trash, but they just have such a, a shiny and sparkly effect 
and they're really, really otherwise uniform in size and shape. So as long as you're avoiding any that maybe have like a tab sticking off the side or something or a, you know holes in the top or something like that. Again, that's common with resin diamonds, but one of the nice things about resin diamonds is like I said, they tend to be really consistent in size so you don't end up worrying about popping drills, which is where you have um, maybe diamonds that are too big that are put in too small of a space and they push against each other and they don't fit, so they just pop off the canvas. I had zero popping with my drills in my Jada Gem Shop kit that I finished. So they'll be in these strands like this. You can see some of the bags have more than others, but you can just kit these up into storage containers. They have the DMC numbers on them as well. Like I said, I had plenty, plenty left over. And like I said, at the moment, she's not including any ABs. I don't even know if that's in her plans. I'm not that worried about it. I'm just glad that we have these really nice, nice quality resin drills that we get to work with. So there's the other colors. I'll just kind of share those, that color spread with you. So we have a lot of these light drills that I'm sure are in the background and maybe in, I don't know if it's in her skin tone maybe, but this just has such a really pretty, like soft effect. So I think that's gonna be so pretty, I love her. <laughs> so this is my first kit. This is a fish out of water from the artist Erin Dainty and obviously Jada Gem Shop. I'm really looking forward to working on this one. It has square diamonds, which is why we have this photo negative effect. And she has several pieces from this artist and they're all really, really, really lovely. So go and check it out. You can check on her, um, like on her section of her website that's all dedicated to diamond paintings, you can sort by artist, which is really nice. So anyway, let's take a look at this second kit that I ordered. This was one <laughs> that, oh my gosh, you guys, as soon as I saw the artwork when she, because she had sent over, I think she may put in her stories, actually, some art, some various artwork from this particular artist and was like, you know, vote for your favorites. And when she included this piece i was like jade jade i need it <laughs> so bad it's amazing i need it it's so gorgeous so ooh, this baggie has some candy in it and some washi tape thanks for that jade let me roll this backwards so that it's not going to keep trying to flip on us but you can kind of see some of it in photo negative here <laughs> oh my gosh you guys i love 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 this artwork i promise i'll show you in just a moment but while you're waiting there you can kind of see it again in photo negative here the name of this artwork is the star and the dragon it's from the artist carla rodriguez also known as doll etoile on instagram oh my gosh i have multiple pieces from this artist in my stash from jade at this point but this artwork i just was immediately enamored with it. So you can't really see <laughs> terribly well, I don't think in the camera, in part because this is huge. And she ended up listing it, I think while she was live. And I said something in the live, I'm like, Jade, as soon as that listing is live, I'm buying it. <laughs> and she's like, well, give me just a sec. I'm gonna have it up for you. And I asked in the chat, I was like, you guys, what size should I get? Um, and like, you know, drill shape and stuff. Here's the amazing and beautiful original artwork. Look at that, it's a dragon. And look at the art style, isn't that so sweet? Oh my gosh, I love, I'm in love. It's so, 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 so sweet. You guys know I'm a sucker for dragons. I love Carla Rodriguez's, or Dolly Twal's, um, her art style and so I was just immediately in love I like the pink florals in the background and I ended up getting the full size of this piece there were a couple of different crops that Jade offered crops like she offers um crop ins on various parts of the artwork so if I wanted to have like focused in on you know this part or something I think she had two or three different options but I just really wanted the full piece. I didn't want to cut it down to like a column size or anything like that. Um, but I was like, what size should I get this in that'll do the artwork justice? And I ended up getting this one in 60 by 85. So it's pretty large. And I believe I got it with square drills as well. 
Yeah, of course I did because it has this photo negative background. So I got it with square drills. This is gonna be a massive undertaking between the size and the squares. And I think this art style is going to have a lot of confetti, but I think it's gonna be so dreamy and so beautiful once it's complete. So yay, I'm so happy. This kit is gonna have 52 colors. So the number of colors is gonna vary. I'm sure that it is intentional on Jade's part that she's giving us the number of colors that she feels the artwork really calls for. Her rendering, I feel like while it is a lot more on the confetti heavy side, I think that it's done very deliberately. Um, that was really my experience with my first project from her is it didn't feel like unnecessary confetti. It felt like confetti with a purpose. <laughs> so I, she has my full buy-in with that, honestly. I mostly mentioned the confetti to you guys and you know some of these pieces in particular because I just want you to be aware because some people really love working with confetti, confetti and some people need it in smaller doses. Uh, it, it's gonna depend on the artwork though. Like I said, that piece before this one, the project before this one that I showed you guys, the A Fish Out of Water had much less confetti because the artwork didn't call for nearly as much. So I think it's good to be aware of that, like looking at the artwork that you're choosing and knowing like, okay, this is probably gonna have less or more and and when if you're not sure contact jade she's super nice she doesn't bite <laughs> but here you can see up close again the printing is really clear and this is our big dragon head <laughs> and this just really really incredibly sweet 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 moment i feel like that i bet i bet this diamond painting i hope this diamond painting is going to capture really beautifully so um, we have a smiley face symbol. That's cute. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, this looks good. So with 52 colors, there's that artwork again. It's a little bit darker printed on the canvas, I feel like. Um, there's those symbols and the DMC numbers. 52 colors. All right, you guys, let me grab my measuring tape. We'll just do a real quick measurement. I think this may have even been offered in one larger size, and I was like, I can't. <laughs> 60 by 85, I think is really gonna be about where I'm gonna have to max out here. Cause I just, I know myself and the kinds of um, projects, like this, the size of projects that I'll wanna work on. This is 85 centimeters on the nose. Um, and I was like, I wanna get this in a size that's gonna do it justice, but I also wanna get it in a size that I know I'm gonna work on. <laughs> 60 centimeters left to right, this is true to size. So uh, let me grab the, the drill bags to show you the colors. I'm not gonna pull these out, I don't think, because this is actually the easier way to show you the colors. Uh, the drill quality looks good. Occasionally you see a drill or two here that has like a little tab sticking off the side. That's honestly, that just comes with resin drills. As long as um, the drills that I am placing down that don't have tabs on the side, as long as they're uniform in size, which they are, um, and they're not popping and they look really good down, I'm fine, you know? And as long as I have enough diamonds to complete my canvas. So looks like we're gonna have 3371, that's a dark brown color. Good amount of that, some greens, browns. So this is gonna have a lot more muted color palette. The, mo the most color we're gonna have is a little bit of pink and red in some of those flowers. But that is okay. I'm in love with the artwork. <laughs> I'll probably, what I'll probably do is have another kit going at the same time. You know, like maybe have um, something with round drills and a little bit brighter color palette going on. Uh, just so I can go back and forth between the two. But there's, there's the color spread for this. <laughs> Isn't that so pretty? Oh my goodness. So we do have three bags of diamonds for this one, but it's nice. They're all, they're all labeled as such. And again, we have that number on here that matches up with the number on the canvas really easily. So you guys, I am so happy. I loved, loved, loved finally getting to unbox and share these kits with you. Now, Jade does have a little bit longer turnaround time. She lists as much on the website what you can expect because she does make these kits to order since you are customizing it to such such a large degree. You're getting to customize the exact size that you want. You're getting to customize whether you're not whether you want round or square shaped diamonds and you're getting to customize if you want like the full image of the artwork or if you want one of the crop options that she has available i really really love that it's so highly customizable and that you're still 
whatever you're choosing, you're getting a high quality product and she's really giving an intentional eye to the, the rendering of the artwork. So even though she has all of these different options, you can still feel good about you know, the, the kit that you're getting and the quality that it's gonna be and the overall kind of rendering effect that you're probably gonna have as well. So I highly recommend checking out Jada Gem Shop and what she has to offer. It's good to know like what your preferences are as a diamond painter as far as do you like um, the kinds of artwork that she's offering. Do you like working with a, more confetti than a lot of other shops might offer? Uh, but also, and do you like having all of these options and getting to choose exactly what your experience is, experience is and whatnot. So I'm going to link to these specific listings for these two kits below. And I'm also going to link to Jade's Instagram and her YouTube channel. Like I said, be sure to, to subscribe and, and give her a follow as well on Instagram and YouTube. That's a really nice way to stay up to date with what she's working on and if she's running sales and that sort of thing. And uh, it's also just a good way to support a small shop, even if you're not looking to make a purchase right away. So huge thank you to Jade for trying to bring some really amazing artists to the diamond painting community and trying to really fill a niche that hasn't been filled yet as far as the art that you're offering, offering crops of artwork and um, a rendering style that I feel like is really distinct and beautiful as well. So uh, I love what Jade is doing and can't wait to see what she has coming up next. So you guys, let me know if you have any questions at all in the comments below. And I'm sure that Jade would be happy to answer questions as well. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go. Thanks for unboxing these two kits with me. I really loved getting into these with you. If you wanna see lots more diamond painting content from me, feel free to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified when I share new videos. And um, if you wouldn't mind giving this video a thumbs up on your way out, if you enjoyed it, I would super appreciate it. All right, my friends, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye.